Um, my name is Michael France, and I'm the director of Jail Time Consulting. I started Jail Time Consulting about 12 to 13 years ago. Prior to uh, starting Jail Time Consulting, I had a group of pharmacies uh, that I transitioned into a group of home medical care equipments in Ohio. Uh, I had a chain of about seven home medical equipment equipment companies. I also had seven uniform shops and a national home medical monitoring company. Back in 2002, I had a, about 150 employees and uh, one day I was going to work and my secretary called in the car and said that we had about 50 to 55 FBI agents uh, postal inspectors, local police, in my corporate headquarters. Uh, I said, I'll be right there. <laughs> I immediately called my attorney, attorneys and uh, came to, uh, they met me at the office. Apparently what had happened uh, prior to that, two or three of the employees who we had fired uh, for various reasons said that we were committing uh, illegal acts, Medicare fraud basically, and we didn't. But unbeknownst to us, there was an initial investigation that lasted over two years prior to me even finding this out. And then um, I, when I got there, uh, they were taking out boxes of books and materials, documents from our office. Uh, I heard nothing for two years. Two years later, they came in and said, well, we really didn't find any Medicare fraud. I said, we didn't do any Medicare fraud. But they had spent quite a bit of money on a, this investigation. Uh, so then they turned the IRS loose. So the IRS came in for two more, maybe three more years, and looked at all the corporate books, all the, uh, the personal income tax returns for seven years. And at that point, uh, said that I owed a sum of money, uh, it was around $200,000. And uh, I was unable to pay that. I mean, they wouldn't allow me to pay that. They said, no, we want to make an example of you and we want to put you in prison. Fortunately, when all this happened, uh, I was going to, um, I, had a, I had a federal prison consultant. Uh, he was top of the top man at that time, and he was very good. Uh, and we're friends today, although he's re since retired. But what what really happened is when I was in federal prison, uh, I was lost. I was very naive at that time about the whole process. Uh, things that uh, uh, I never thought could possibly happen in the judicial system happened. So the first three months. I would, I would get up every morning and look at my watch and it was 9 o'clock. Uh, six hours later I would look at my watch and it was 9.05. So time didn't move very fast. So I decided I have to do something. I've got to get focused. Uh, and that's when I decided that I, I would try to learn as much as I could about the Bureau of Prisons policies, their procedures, uh, and when I got out maybe I could assist people. Maybe I could help people also. Uh, there were, my consultant did a lot of good things for me, but on the other hand, there were a lot of things that he didn't do that I thought would benefit me or other people that were in my situation. So I was pretty much in the law library uh, six to seven hours a day, six to seven days a week, the whole time I was in federal prison. I learned a lot. And uh, during this time, I wrote my book, which is uh, a jail time, what you need to know before you go to federal prison. I wrote my book. I started writing the policies and the programs that I needed at this time. Uh, at that time and, and currently, there was no computers that you could use. So everything was on a typewriter. And then I would send the pages home to my wife and she would collate them and save them for me. When I got out of prison, uh, I got the book published. I started the business with a boom and we've been growing ever since.